what is up guys so i got the evo back here uh, i'm in the garage my light's not working so all i got is the window light so bear with me um anyways i got the evo here i'm gonna uh, do the uh, ayc pump relocation and i'm also gonna rebuild it because it went out so that's the whole purpose of me relocating it um, i guess they uh, it's a common issue that uh, like the salt and debris and everything, it starts corroding the pump and then the pump fails. Um, so uh, Mitsubishi was bright enough to put it right behind the rear tire. I guess it's been like that on all the Evos. Um, so anyways, we're going to pull it out, we're going to rebuild it, and then we're going to relocate it to the trunk. And then since the car is going to be up on jacks, we're going to go ahead and do an oil change. It's a little early, but it's not going to hurt anything. So... Uh, we're going to get that done, and it's probably going to take a day or so, um, just because I have, I don't know if you can tell, but this garage is a little cramped, and, um, uh, you know, it's so it's a little cramped, and it's just me working on it. I'm going to see if uh, my buddy Steve-O, you guys have probably seen him in some other videos, like the jet ski trip. Um, I'm going to see if he'll come over and help me do a couple things like bleeding the AYC pump once it's all done and put in. So uh, we will see how it goes and I'm going to try to video uh, video as much as possible and uh, just kind of bring you guys along. I noticed there wasn't a lot of videos about the AYC pump uh, and even more so about the AYC pump relocation kit. So, uh, oh yeah, and the AYC pump relocation kit that I got was from Driven Fabrication and they're right up the street here in Cincinnati. So always uh, good to support the local guys. Uh, so rock on and uh, from what I've seen and everything that I've heard of, they make some incredible stuff for the Evos. All right, here's the kit from uh, Driven Fabrication. Uh, I had to print out the directions, but here they are and I've got the rebuild uh, pump kit that I got I think I got that from like Canada or something uh, they had free shipping so why not and what comes in the kit you ask all kinds of plates and bolts and fittings and things and stuff and then some stainless steel braided lines those are good and then this is what I'm uh, pretty intrigued with is uh, a cover for the pump so it doesn't look all nasty in the trunk so good on them and let's get it installed all right what's up guys so I got the uh, oh, let me see if I can scoot over a little bit I got the bumper off as you can see so um, I did that last night I went ahead and jacked up the car and um, got the bumper off and tried to get it kind of ready so that this morning all I have to do is pull the pump and then I'm gonna rebuild the pump and then uh, and then and then so uh, la, 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 la. so for today just gonna pull the pump rebuild it try to throw it back in we're gonna throw it in the trunk and we gonna relocate it so hopefully it doesn't uh, get corroded like it did uh, this time and then no and then I'm still waiting for the fluid to come in from Amazon it should be here either today or tomorrow I don't remember uh, I've been ordering all kinds of stuff so um, but within the next day or so we're, we'll get it wrapped up and I'm gonna try to get Steve over here to help me bleed the system manually and uh, that's I think about it oh yeah we're gonna do an oil change and uh, there's a fog light where up front where the um, like the mesh area is I need to find some screws and screw it back in because it's all like blah, 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 blah. all right so I got underneath the car it's a little rusty a little corroded right should have even should have thought about it before all right so boom PB blaster if you don't know what this is this is a uh, heaven in a can so there's a bunch of different kinds of like liquid wrench or you know um, penetrating oils. Uh, this seems to be one of the best ones that I've found. There's another one that uh, when I worked at a, a motorcycle shop, 
they had and it was I want to say it was like some kind of aircraft grade stuff it was like $20 a can but it was amazing like way better than PB blaster and this stuff is pretty darn good so uh, if, if you're gonna be working on a car or anything and it's a little bit older go ahead and just pick some of this up it, it'll I tell you what man it's it's good stuff you'll thank me later all right so I sprayed the PB blaster up here oh, I don't know if you can see that all right, so I got a little light on the subject. Um, so right up here, uh, this fitting to the right is a 17 millimeter, and this one I believe was uh, 14. Yeah, 14. So we're gonna have to crack those lines open and then put some new, uh, bigger fittings on for the relocation kit. Right, so you always want to try like squeeze them together like that. Um, if you end up like trying to force them away from yourself, that's usually like when a wrench goes flying or you end up busting your knuckles. So by uh, having them kind of separated like that and then squeezing them together, uh, that's that's always seemed to be the best practice um, in a lot of the shops that I've worked in. So. then if we come over here to the side of the car we're gonna have to pull uh, you know, pull these two lines off and then I've got a drain right here uh, because all that fluid is gonna come gushing out so uh, that's gonna be the next couple steps and then I will show you guys what I'm doing after that all right guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end the video here. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have some more uh, videos in this series and uh, tag along as we uh, fix this pump. So thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you like the video. Uh, if not, you know, whatever. But uh, hopefully I'll see you again. All right.